Uh, step two of the uh, project workflow for 3D models is to uh, load the Ethan character into Unity 3D. We're using Unity 5.5 or higher. So once you start Unity, you'll want to click on New and you'll start a new 3D project. You can give it any name you want. We're going to call it um, 3D Project Workflow Testing. And then we'll go ahead and create that. And then once your uh, Unity comes up with your new project, you're going to go up here to Assets, and you're going to go down here to Import Package, and we'll go down here to Characters. It's going to prepare the package for import. Um, what we're really wanting to do is import the Ethan character, but since we're not sure how extensive the testing is going to be. We're just going to leave everything checked. Uh, which you have to, if something's unchecked, you want it all, you just click the All button. And then we're going to do Import uh, to bring into Unity, our Unity project, I say, these assets. Shouldn't take very long, and the reason we use Ethan is so when we're importing models for test, we can uh, size comparison with uh, the Ethan figure. And we can also check for uh, normals in the faces if they're re inverted and, re and reversed. And we can scale all the items exactly to fit a, a character sized uh, environment. And after it completes, you'll notice down here in the project, uh, you have a standard assets folder. And so basically, we're going to go down through here. Uh, we're going to be looking for uh, the Ethan figure. Oh, excuse me, I think he's a. First person, stand by. Actually, we look under standard assets, go to characters, and then we look down in here in the uh, third person character, you'll find the Ethan model right here. And there he is, he just popped up over here in the inspector tool. So we take and drag him up here into the project so that now we have Ethan in the view, and we can go ahead and minimize the standard assets. Now we can just go ahead and uh, rotate and zoom around to uh, how we want to see to get him into the project view here. So now we have him loaded. And so now when we bring in models, we can size comparison with the Ethan figure. So we'll go ahead and save this scene. And we'll just call it main. And then we'll go uh, go ahead and save our project. And we are now prepared to use Ethan character in Unity for 3D model testing.